Hi folks, Dave Kwasinski, DaveKFitness.com, the philosophy of Dave.wordpress.com, on Twitter at Dave Kwasinski. It is Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. We are nine days until Good Friday. And let's talk again about confession. Today, the first reading is from Daniel, and it's about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, or do you say Abednego? <clears throat> three men who are cast into the white hot furnace. And then King Nebuchadnezzar goes absolutely crazy when he sees that um, these guys that were thrown in, bound into this fiery furnace, seem to be walking around in the furnace, in the flames, with a fourth figure that looks like an angel of the Lord. And <clears throat> just a very, uh, very gripping scene from uh, the uh, book of the prophet Daniel this morning. But let's talk about, uh, I just wanted to mention that, but let's talk about confession. And yesterday night was reconciliation service at uh, St. Pat's, Church of St. Patrick in Wadsworth, where uh, we attend. And I don't know what's holding you back, maybe, from going to confession or what bothers you about confession and about making a good confession. Um, maybe you can't forget something that's happened and you dwell on it. I heard a fantastic story today and I just have to relate it from Johnette Bankovic, who is a host on uh, several programs on EWTN. And when I got back into the, the car to make the uh, long trek north, she was on a program called Women of Grace, and she mentioned a time when she was at confession and she was having a hard time dealing with something that had really troubled her. And she just couldn't let go of it. And the priest asked her, where's God? And she thought about it. And she said, well, he's, he's right here, Father. He's right here. You sure he's right here? Well, yeah, he's, he's present always. And the priest said, he's omnipresent? And she said, well, well, yeah. And then he asked again, where's God? Well, he's right here. Where is he? He's right next to me. And then he related how the devil tries to pull us out of the present. And he uses people or things or demons called woulda, coulda, shoulda, and if only, and they drag us back into the past. And we're, we, we try to wrestle with that and we try to get ourselves back to the present moment. It seems like we might be getting ourselves back into the present moment. Then he uses what if and tries to pull us into the future instead of us being in this omnipresent moment with Jesus, where Jesus wants us in the here and the now. It's a little bit longer story. I don't, I obviously don't have the time to get into it and you know how I like to talk, but I thought that that was such a great analogy for how the devil tries to drag us out of being in the presence of the Lord. So relates a little bit to confession. Not sure how Daniel's reading ties in yet, but, um, Maybe I'll think of something and talk about it tomorrow. This is Dave Kwasinski. It's Wednesday. It is so windy outside. I had to stay in the car. I mean, the, the flags are just whipping signs, the street lights, um, uh, traffic signals. It's pretty crazy out there. So we're in the confines of the car where you can actually hear me and not the wind. It's a Wednesday. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.